Hi everybody, welcome to Diana's Place. Today we're going to be making some really healthy muffins that you're going to love. And it's out of one of my favorite cookbooks called Run Fast, Eat Slow. So let's get started. So today we're going to be making one of my favorite recipes out of a cookbook that I'm just in love with. I was given it as a gift for my birthday and it's called Run Fast, Eat Slow. I'm not promoting this book or affiliated with it. However, I'm a huge fan of it and I encourage all of you to go out and get it. I've been cooking my way through it and everything is nutritious and so delicious. The first recipe I want to introduce you to is superhero muffins and they're the perfect snack. When you're on the run or in a hurry for breakfast, you can just grab and go. Everybody that I've made it for has loved them, my family loves them, and I'm eating them every day. So I encourage you to try this recipe. Um, it's super easy to make. Basically it's two bowls, one with the wet ingredients and one with the dry. So we're going to start with the wet ingredients and we're going to whip up three eggs. Now when you beat your eggs, you want to get a little air into them. I love this size whisk. It's perfect. It's about a medium size whisk. Just want to tilt your bowl a little bit and just get that air into them and break them up. In this recipe, we have zucchini and carrots. We have coconut oil. All things that are super nutritious. I love putting coconut oil into my recipes. It's a natural metabolizer. It helps boost your metabolism and helps with your immunity. So if you can put it into your diet every day, I highly encourage you to do that. We're gonna grate one cup of zucchini. This is my favorite grater. It's about a medium size and it's one of my favorite kitchen tools. So it's super easy. You're just gonna grate one cup. There's a lot of water in zucchini, so if it feels really wet, you could just take a paper towel and get some of that water out. So I have been preparing and I already have my one cup made. So we're gonna jump to that and use it. So here we go, we're gonna put it back into the bowl with the eggs. Go. And the second thing you're gonna put in is one cup of grated carrot. Same grater, same process, super easy. This takes a little bit of time. You're gonna to need to have about two or three carrots. I often will just do the grating the night before and whip these up in the morning so they're fresh because this just takes maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. It's just easy to have it done. So that's it. And again, I'm organized and I have my cup right here. So we're just going to keep building the ingredients into this wet bowl. The next thing we're going to do is put in the six tablespoons of melted coconut oil. You probably can't see it, but I want to show you coconut oil. If you're not familiar with it, you want to buy the unrefined. It helps to absorb the nutrients better into your body by having coconut oil. It's like a vehicle for absorbing vitamins. So if you're eating this, you're helping absorb those good things into your body. So look for unrefined. It comes solid, it's like butter, and when you melt it, it turns to a clear liquid. This takes about 30 seconds in my microwave to get it like that, so really quick. So we've already got that done. Put that in there. The next thing we're gonna do is have some vanilla. And we need one teaspoon of vanilla. And the sweetener, which I love, is unrefined. As you probably have heard, because it's all over the news, refined sugars are toxic for our body. We want to try to keep them out. I'm probably 80% good at that and 20% bad, because I'm not going to give up the things that I love. But if you can pretty much 80% of the time try to keep it out of your diet, you're doing yourself a big favor. So in this recipe, we're going to sweeten it with maple syrup, which is delicious. And that is going to be a half a cup of maple syrup. There we go. 
and that's the only sweetener that's in it, so it's really, really good for you. And that takes care of the wet ingredients. So very, very simple. Now we're going to put together the dry ingredients. It's made up of almond meal, some oatmeal, and that's pretty much the basis of it. So it's gluten-free and dairy-free. These muffins can also be made with butter. I meant to mention that to you. So if you don't have coconut oil on hand, you can use butter, just melt it, six tablespoons. So we're gonna use almond meal, which is delicious and again, nutritious for you. And we're gonna need two cups of it. I love this little measuring cup because inside you can see the levels. It's just convenient. So we're gonna do two cups. There we go. Oh, and if you've never bought almond meal, I like this brand. And I've tried to put all the brands because sometimes it's overwhelming to make the same thing taste the same way if you're not sure which ingredients to buy. So this is uh, Bob's Red Mill. I know you can get it in Canada as well. So you just put that in the bowl. Now we're going to do one cup of oatmeal. It's old-fashioned oatmeal, which is the larger flake. And I want to show that to you. So it's not the quick, it's not the one that you make instant in the microwave, it's the old fashioned one. So this is the brand that we buy in the United States, and I'm not sure what it is in Canada, but easy to find. Now we're going to put in some cinnamon, and it's two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm always a little generous with cinnamon because I love it. And nutmeg, don't be generous with this because it's more intense and it can really overpower the flavor and you don't want to do that. So it's just a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and I stay really true to that measurement. Just in the bowl. We need a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Again, stick close to the measurements on salt. There we go. And we need one teaspoon of baking soda. And that's it. No, that's not it. Okay, so we've got the two cups of almond meal, one cup of oatmeal. We've put two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg in here. It's a little bit lumpy, so you're going to want to just smooth it out. The, the almond meal can get just a little bit lumpy, so you just want to get that really smooth. Now we're going to add some walnuts. These need to be cut just a little bit more finely, so I'm going to do that. When you cut your nuts, get a long knife. If it's a little bit serrated, it makes it really easy. I also like to hold the knife on the front end and just balance it and go up and down. You want these about a medium chop. You don't have to put walnuts in. You could put pecans, you could put almonds, or you could just leave them out if you're not into nuts. It's totally optional. And that's just about perfect. There's a half a cup of raisins in this. If you're not a fan of raisins, you could use chopped up dates. They add that little bit of extra sweetness. I happen to like golden raisins. I'm not a big fan of the dark ones, but these are just sweeter and more delicate. So I do add them. They add a nice texture to the muffin. And lastly, because we have to be a little bit bad, we're going to put some chocolate chips in it. You don't have to, but I love them, so we're going to do it. And that's it. And we're just going to stir it around. You can really whip this up in maybe 10 minutes, and then they're in the oven. Now we're just going to combine the two bowls. I'm going to give this a little stir, and just make sure that the whether using melted butter or coconut oil, that it's just all blended in. And that's it. I'm going to pop this in here. And you will see it just whips together really easily. You don't really have to over stir it, it's just when everything's together. Once that baking soda starts to react, you don't want to keep over stirring it. You just want to get them in the oven quick. 
You see? So simple. It makes 12 perfectly sized muffins. So here you go. It's just all together now. I'm going to be listing it in the description below so you will be able to see exactly what to get and the proportions that you'll need to make the recipe. So I just love to have one of these in the car when I've got errands to run. I'll just chop up an apple, take a big bottle of water and a muffin, and I'm good to go. You will be fine for two to three hours off that. And it'll save you from popping into Starbucks and buying something that's sugar-filled and not so good for you. So with a little planning ahead, you'll have these ready to go. So I'm just evenly putting them into each of the muffin cups. And then I'll go back and top them off. So I'm just going to even these up a little bit so that they cook evenly. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. They're going to go in for probably 28 to 30 minutes. Every oven can be just a little bit different, so I like to go just under the suggested amount of cooking and then top it off if I need to. So I'm just going to clean up the edge here because this will burn and we are good to go. These are going in the oven. And we're going to have them in about 30 minutes. So the timer's just gone off and I'm going to take a look. They've been in for 28 minutes and they might need a little extra time, so we'll see. So they look just a little soft in the middle. I have a skewer and I always like to check with this. If it goes in and comes out a little bit wet, they need another minute or two. So it's just better to put them in and be sure. So in they go for another minute and a half. All right, so it's been a minute and a half. I'm going to take another look. They are perfect. You can see that they're just risen. They're not squishing down. They're perfect. So we're going to leave them in this for maybe three or four minutes. And while they're in cooling, I'm just going to take a little knife because it sticks to the edge. And if it does that, you're going to have a really tough time getting them out. So just do this, kind of running that knife around. Otherwise, you'll be frustrated. It'll stick in there and you'll be like, oh, that work. Okay, so I've loosened all of these and they're really hot. You could wait a couple of extra minutes if you want or if you want to just burn your fingers a little, pull them out now, which is what I always do and let them cool almost until they're just kind of lukewarm before you eat them. Okay, so let me show you how beautiful these look. Gorgeous. You've got 12 healthy superfood muffins here. You're gonna love them. I hope that you will just jump in and try them because you will have them in your fridge all the time, I promise you. So here's our muffins all ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be uploading videos on a regular basis of things that I love that I want to share with you. If you've enjoyed today, please hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and I would love to hear comments back. Until next time, everybody, take care. See you soon.